Let's make a beat for Daredevil. Yo, welcome back guys. I hope y'all are doing well as always. So today I'm gonna to be breaking down a beat I made for Daredevil. And this idea came from actually a commenter on one of the last videos. Um, he said to make a beat for Daredevil uh, similar to like his song called Yesterday. And I hadn't listened to much Daredevil like before this comment. And so I just kind of did a quick look. Um, I listened to that song and a couple others. And for that style, it was like, it was kind of like the sort of like smooth um, wavy type of beat, almost kind of like a Pierre beat. Um, so that's what I went for today with this one. And I'm gonna break down this melody first and then we'll do the drums after that. Um, a couple things before we start this video, uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, we're, I'm trying to hit 3K. Once I hit 3K, I've got this kit that I've been working on. Um, it's the 3K drum kit. Um, when I hit 2K on Instagram, I dropped the 2K stash kit. And a lot of people like that one. So I figured when I hit 3K, I would do another one. So this is gonna be a drum kit. It's gonna have, you know, everything a drum kit has, 808s, claps, hi-hats, etc. cetera. Um, there's gonna be some bonus stuff in there, like loops, midis, a um, couple of one shots and phrases. Um, so yeah, make sure you definitely follow me on Instagram. Um, get me to 3K. I just started streaming on this channel too, um, a couple of days ago. Um, I've done like about three streams so far. So if you haven't um, seen those, make sure you tap in whenever I go live. If you want to be notified when I go live, I also created a Discord for the streams. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. Um, you can go join that and then you'll get notified whenever I go live. And usually when I go live, I use like other people's loops. So you can drop loops in there um, and I go through them on stream and make some beats and just kind of chill and have a good time. So if you guys are interested in that, join the Discord um, and yeah, join the lives. It's pretty fun. So yeah, with all that said, let's uh, jump back into this beat. So yeah, like I was saying before, um, with all the, like the references and stuff I listened to, um, I kind of came to the conclusion that for this beat, it's kind of like a slower BPM and it uses some like pads and just like some nice chords and stuff. And I noticed like a lot of the main presets have some like motion to them. Um, so what I did first is I just drew up this chord pattern. Um, I could not tell you the theory behind this. I know nothing about music theory. I just draw notes in and if they sound good, they sound good. Um, so I did that and then I got this Bazille plugin and I'm using the Arc Hazy Memories preset from the pads folder. And that is gonna sound like this. So yeah, definitely has some like very cool textures to it. Like I said, it has a lot of motion. And then the next thing I did was I added just this kind of like really simple top line lead. Um, and I used the key MO 45 RPM preset from the keys folder. And it's just playing, like I said, this super simple, just like two notes that repeat. Um, it just kind of gives it like a nice little top line. So that's gonna sound like this. So that one really does a good job, like kind of emphasizing the melody of the previous pad. Um, it just kind of like blends in really well. So then the next thing I added was just this little like uh, transitioning note. And I used this plugin Diva and I'm using the lead. It's called TUC Single Cell Warbles. And it's gonna sound like this. So yeah, just like a tiny little accent note to kind of transition between like each four bars. So then the next thing I did was I added this uh, like sort of pluck pattern. And this was just really to introduce some more like melodic elements to the to the loop. Um, Cause right now we kind of just have single notes and like pads. Um, so this adds a little bit more of like a rhythm. 
And again, I'm using this Bazille plugin and I'm using the preset AZ Solaris from the keys folder. And that is gonna sound like this. So yeah, adds a really nice like melodic element to the loop. Um, it also introduces some high end. And I forgot to mention, but for the majority of these, I'm just adding like a simple EQ to like take out the lows. And then the next thing I added was this little just like chord stab with this purity preset, big Anna brass. And it basically just hits only twice, but it just kind of adds a nice like stab onto like the downbeat. And that's gonna sound like this. So yeah, just a nice little melodic element. And then the last thing I added was this bass. Um, this is the, the fungi bass from my 2K stash kit. Um, it sounds like this. So yeah, then all I really did was just arrange it, and this is what the whole loop sounds like. I'll play it from this point so you can hear this like lead that comes in. So yeah, that's it for this loop. Um, now we're gonna switch over to the other arrangement view and I'm gonna show you guys how I did the drums. So I'll drag these all down here just so you can see them all. Um, and really for this beat, it's like pretty simple. Um, there's not a lot going on. It's just everything kind of has its own pocket. So really I just started off with this basic clap. And like I said at the beginning of the video, um, I think the majority of these drums are gonna be from this 3K kit, so you guys get a little bit of a preview of what's in it. Um, so then the next thing I did was, I actually did the 808. And again, this is just a very simple pattern. This is uh, one thing that I've kind of been doing in a lot of my beats recently, is this kind of like little stepping effect. So I'll draw on these like four notes and then I'll just kind of like alternate the velocities of each of them. And it just kind of makes a cool effect. So then after that, I just did this hi-hat pattern. And this is kind of where like the bounce for the drums comes in. Um, so you'll hear that with this. Then really the last things I added were just this snare and then like an open hat. Um, and all of the drums together sound like this. So yeah, and then for like arrangement, um, like I said, you heard the loop before, but the only thing I really did was similar to that song yesterday by by Daredevil. Um, there's a part in it where the bass hits and then it drops to the 808. So I kind of mimicked that by just having this like little part of the bass hit and then it drops back into the 808. And I do that a couple times throughout the beat. Um, but other than that, it's really just like cutting away the drums at certain 
uh, aspects and then just repeating it a couple times so yeah that's it for this beat um, a really simple one but i hope you guys enjoyed it um, let me know what other videos you want to see from me in the future i think next week's video is going to be like an x8 tutorial um, with me and my boy jam um, he's going to do the loop for that one so i'm excited for that um, but yeah uh, let me know what you guys think of this make sure you follow me on ig uh, make sure you like comment subscribe all that um, yeah i will see you later peace